Okay, moving on to problem 14. Uh, again, we have a system of equations and two variables. The first equation is negative 3x plus 3y is equal to 3. And the second equation is negative 5x plus y is equal to 13. Okay, now, when we take a look, you can clearly see that in the second equation, the y is going to be the easiest one to solve for. I don't have to do any dividing. I don't have to change any signs. So I'm going to, I'm going to move this off to the side and solve for y. So we'll add 5x to both sides. I have y equals 5x plus 13. y is all by itself, set equal to everything else. Even though it's in y equals mx plus b form, we're not graphing it. Okay, so since I rearranged number two, I'm gonna substitute that into equation one. So now I have negative three X plus three Y, but now we know what Y equals, and we'll substitute in five X plus 13, and it equals three. Now we have an equation that's all in one variable, X, and we're gonna go ahead and solve for X. So we're gonna go ahead and simplify. This gives me negative three X, plus 15x plus 39 is equal to three. We'll combine our like terms, negative three x and 15x gives me 12x. Now I'm simplified on the left-hand side, I'm simplified on the right-hand side, so now we'll go ahead and solve and we'll try and get x by itself. So I'll subtract 39 from both sides. That gives me 12x is equal to negative 36. Divide both sides by 12, and x is going to be negative 3. Now that we know what x is, we're, we're going to take it back over here, sub in. For x is now negative 3. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Negative 15 plus 13 is negative 2. So... Negative three, negative two is the point where these two lines are gonna intersect. Since that's our solution, it is consistent independent.